to my channel. So today I am here to kind of do a DIY. What. So today I'm going to be trying to make fluffy slime. So I have this bag filled with everything that I need for the slime. So all right, here's my recipe on the other side. I'm not going to show you that yet. And then the rest is all of the ingredients. So first, you're going to need a bowl. So I have this bowl with like seashells and stuff all over it. Uh, it's just a nice big plastic bowl. Um, then you're going to need a spoon to mix with. This is a plastic spoon. It's not metal. It's like plastic that looks like it's a metal spoon. That's actually a really cool spoon. Um, I have a cup and another spoon. I have borax. You can find this at Walmart. That's where I found mine. And it's in like the laundry section. You're gonna need some measuring cups. So I have a half cup right here. And I have just a bunch of measuring spoons. But you really need a teaspoon. Um, then I have some food coloring, which is totally optional. I have, of course, some glue. I have some lotion. This is just some Justice lotion, but it's strawberry and cream. I just really like the scent of it. And also I like how it has the pump. I wanted a pump. My other ones don't really have pumps. I have some um, Neutrogena oil-free acne wash. And it, like it's a it's a facial cleanser, cleanser is what you need. And it's pink grapefruit is the scent and it smells really good. And then finally, some shaving cream. This is by Skintimate. <laughs> And it's strawberry tangerine twist, so that's the scent. So that is all the ingredients and everything that you need to make fluffy slime. So I'm just gonna push some things off to the side. And then now just like move a bunch of stuff over. So get out of my way. Okay, so first what you're gonna do is take your giant bowl. It doesn't have to be this big, I don't know why I grabbed such a big bowl. But I did. And you're gonna start with half a cup of glue. So I'm gonna take my half cup and my glue. So half a cup is a four ounce bottle. So if you have a four ounce bottle, just pour it right in. Don't even bother with the cup. But I got one that can make, it's um, 7.625. So I was like, I can make two things of slime with it. Like I know one of them will have a little bit less, but I was like, I'll just get that. So this, if you get a big one, it can make about two, two things of slime. So I'm going to pour in a half cup. Mm. Alright, here's my half cup. I'm just going to pour that in. I'm going to cap my glue because I don't want that to spill anywhere. That would be a very sticky situation to clean up. Move that off the side. And you can use your spoon to get in there and scrape it out of the um, container. So I've never tried this recipe, but I, um, was looking up recipes and this one came up, so I don't remember where I found it, but, um, yeah. Hopefully this works. So try and get as much of the glue out as you can. I think I got most of it out. Alright, so I'm going to set my cup aside. So next I'm going to add in a half a cup of shaving cream. So I actually need my cup. And mix up, shake up my shaving cream. Here we go, ready? Oh, this isn't the foaming kind. I think it'll still work though. What do you guys think? It's not foamy. It's like, I didn't know that. I feel like I need a foaming kind. But I mean, it might work. Should I try it? I'll try it. I'm gonna try it and see how it works. Oh yeah, I think this is fine actually. So you want like the same amount of glue, uh, shaving cream as you have glue. So you want like equal parts. I'm just gonna mix that together. Mine is colored and scented. You don't have to use a colored one. Mine just happened to be colored. And actually, I didn't put exactly a half cup, so I need a little bit more. Just squirt some in there. Mm. It smells really good. The cap will not go on. I can really smell how nice it is. So you guys can't see what I'm mixing, but that's what it looks like. 
And hopefully this will work because right now it's looking pretty good actually. Okay, so now you want to add your facial cleanser. You want to add a couple um, pumps of this. I just did five. Just think that's a good amount. And then you're going to mix that in. The, um, it didn't tell me, the recipe, it didn't tell me how many pumps to put in, so I just kind of made up five. I might even put in a little bit more. Alright, so I decided I didn't do more. I know that looks like I was squirting a lot, but nothing was coming out. So, I tried to pick, like, substances that were pink. That's also why I kind of chose this lotion, because it's pink, and my other stuff will be pink. So I won't really need food coloring, but I'm still going to use it. I'm going to make it pink anyways, but yeah. Or I might just leave it the way it is. Okay, so now you want to add a couple of squirts of lotion. Oh, that was not good. Come on, lotion. <laughs> okay, I don't know why it's being weird, but it is. It's squirting out really weird. We'll just go with that. Oh, look at that. It like exploded everywhere. That'll definitely add to the pink coloring. Right now it's looking pretty good. I'm hoping it is good. Because I want good slime. You know, you always want good slime. And I've never made fluffy slime before, so I'm really excited for this. Okay. So, yeah, got some on my hands. That's okay. So now you've added your lotion, you can add coloring if you want it. I think I am going to add just a little bit because you can see this is not a very bright pink. I'm not saying that I need a bright pink, but I just kind of want it to be brighter. These are neon colors, so it's going to be like a neon pink, but I think it'll be cool. I think I'm just going to add one drop. And now is really the best time to add the coloring. So... so cool. I'll show you guys in a minute. I just want to like mix it really well. Oh, sorry, I should use like a clear bowl so you can see it. I'm just going to mix it really good. It's like a workout mixing. So I really like this color a lot. You guys can't really tell, but it's a really pretty pink. You kind of see it there. Ooh, I feel like this is going to turn out so cool. I really hope it will. I really want this to be a success because then I can use the other half to make more if I really like it. And I probably will because this line is so amazing. Okay, now I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to take my cup and my other spoon. So I need to go rinse this out really quick because I need this. So I'm going to go do that. Okay, so I'm over here and I'm just going to do this really quick. So I need to add one cup of hot water. So I have um, two, I'm gonna use two half cups. So the hotter the water, the better. So you really want really warm water. It'll work a lot better. If you already have slime activ activator made, you can just use that, but I don't keep any made. This is really warm, which is perfect. But I don't keep any made together like some people do, because I think it works better if I um, get like really hot water. And just do that so this water is really hot the water in my basement gets really hot really fast because the boiler room is like right over there so oops so sorry and then now i'm gonna add in one teaspoon of borax where's my teaspoon or is it oh it's supposed to be um but yeah one teaspoon right remember how much I'm supposed to put in. I'm pretty sure it's one teaspoon. But that doesn't, that seems too small. I'm gonna just put in, why don't I remember? This is sad. Okay. Got some in there. I'm just gonna go with that. That was like 
a little bit less than half a tablespoon. So I think that should be a good amount. Actually, probably too much. I don't really remember. I don't remember how much I was supposed to put in. I, I wrote down half a. I, I wrote, yeah, I wrote down one teaspoon, but I was like, that looks way too small. Yeah, one teaspoon just seems like not enough. So, I don't know. Improvising. I might have to add more water. Actually, this is okay. Okay. Um. You can see there's steam on the inside of my cup because the water's so warm. All right, so now I want to try and get the camera to a good angle so you can actually see what's going on for this next part. But you're gonna like start adding the activator in and kneading it. This is where I'm gonna tie my hair up in case um, I need to move my hair. I don't need to. All right, so. I'm gonna go over there so you guys can see. So here's the slime. So, um, well it's not really a slime yet, but the soon to be slime. It looks really cool, look at the color. I love it. So now we're gonna add in the activator a little bit at a time until it's like good. Ooh, that's actually a really good amount. It's gonna like scoop it all in to itself. Ooh, it feels so fluffy. Okay, so I'm gonna take it and just like put it on the counter. I'm just gonna like scoop it all out. And I'm gonna play with it on the counter. <laughs> and I'm gonna wipe this up anyway after, so yeah. I think you're supposed, to, you're supposed to add more activator if it's too sticky. That's what I read. Ooh, it's very sticky. At least it's not sticking to the counter. It's just sticking to me. But it looks amazing. And it feels really cool. Alright. So we've got this big glop. I'm just gonna add like a little bit more activator. I'm just like kind of scooping it and spooning it in. A little at a time. Then we can just kind of like knead it in. Ugh. I'm using both of my hands. Oh, but it's really, really soft. So that's a plus. It's starting to become less sticky already, which is awesome. It still needs more, so I'm gonna like make a little bed and just scoop some. I'm just gonna like fold it in on itself. Just like mix it all up. like sticking everything. Yeah. Alright, it's starting to come off of me, which is good. It is still sticking to me, but not as much. Alright. You just want to like make sure you want to play with it and add like activator until it, you can like put it on you and it won't stick to you anymore. That's when you know it's really good. I'm just trying to like make sure it's not sticking to me very much anymore. Oh yeah, guys. This is awesome. It's so fluffy. <laughs> I sound like the minions and the unicorn. It's so fluffy. Actually, well, that wasn't the minion, it was um Agnes. Either way, you, you get what I'm saying. Oh, I really like it. I think I'm gonna make more. I'll make another video of me making more. Cause I'm definitely gonna make more.
gonna make more of this. I'm gonna make blue. Yes, this is amazing, I love it. I'm obsessed. Guys, it turned out so good. I'm so surprised at how well this turned out. I love it so much. Fluffy slime is amazing. This recipe is so good, I'm gonna make more. And I will make another video. Just so if you guys wanna see it, you can. Hopefully it will turn out just as good as this one. I'm gonna get this one a container to put it in, but I love this slime so much. So, it's so soft. There's like no resistance from the slime. It's really stretchy. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments, let me know what you think of this slime. I think it's amazing and it is my new favorite slime. And I will see you guys later in my next slime video because I'm definitely making another one because I'm making more fluffy slime because I have another thing of glue to do. So I'm going to do it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!